Hi, so let's talk about hydronium ions and how we would draw them as a Lewis dot structure. So basically a hydronium ion is produced by the protonation of water. And so when we have a disassociated acid, it adds a proton, which is what a hydrogen ion is because it's got no electron, it's just a proton on its own, to water. So it joins to the water. Um, and it looks like this. Basically you've got the hydrogen ion in solution, it joins to, the, it bonds to this um, uh, water, bonds to this water molecule, and that gives us a hydronium ion. Now, it does exist in water, which has a pH of 7, but it exists in the exact same quantities as hydroxide ions. Um, and that's because water will disassociate with itself like this. So you get hydro hydronium ions plus you get an oxygen ion, and those concentrations are exactly the same. Now, how do we draw the Lewis dot structure of a hydronium ion? Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to count the valence electrons. So first, we have 3 times 1. That's our um, hydrogens here. So we've got each hydrogen has 1 valence electron, so now we have 3 total. Um, oxygen has 6. Okay, so so far we're at 9. We have 9 valence electrons. Now that's an issue. However, this plus, that means we take away one electron, okay? Because it has one more proton than it does electrons. So we take away an electron. So that's a minus one. And this gives us an even eight electrons. And that makes it nice and simple. Now remember, when this hydrogen ion was added, it is just a proton that is joined to it. And we'll be able to see where it joins in a minute. So... Basically, we draw oxygen in the middle always, and our hydrogens all go around the edge here. And we'll draw in the electrons, okay? So, if we pretend that this here was the hydrogen plus that's come in, so just the proton, and this is our previous water molecule, what it would have looked like is this hydrogen, so oxygen has six, that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. So, we could have drawn this with a little cross to show that it came from these hydrogens. So that's come from that hydrogen, that's come from that hydrogen, and that's all cool. This proton is very easily able to come along because it needs a full valence shell and bond in with and share this pair of electrons here. Okay, so it joins like that. And because it's an ion now, because it's got six electrons, uh, sorry, six valence, oh, it's got a full set of oxygen electrons, a full set of hydrogen electrons, another full set of hydrogen electrons, and this one is missing an electron. So it has a valency of plus one. And we would draw it like this. That's our Lewis dot structure of the hydronium ion. Um, and here's a bigger version. And that's pretty much it. I hope that made sense. Um, if it didn't, feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. And we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.